today we are going to create some abstract art inside of blender so let's get started add a plane scale it up a bit Control a scale and we will go into the material mode and add a new material easy as that we will keep the principal BSDF and we will add a wave texture. We will add a noise texture and we will add a color ramp and we will duplicate that as we need it in the noise texture. And we will also need a mapping node control T on one of the textures here. And then what we'll do is we'll use the same one for both textures and we will do object into the vector and wave texture color into the factor and color into the base color we will also duplicate this and do color into the factor on the color ramp and color into the roughness we want to play a bit with the roughness here so what do we got now we got some straight lines uh, why is this wave texture if we got straight lines yeah we need to do change the rings and nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? I don't know. It doesn't really matter for what we are going to do. We'll change the, this to saw from sign, sign wave is what it's for. And we will play a bit with the scale here. So color into the scale from this color ramp factor into the factor of the color ramp for the noise texture and what do we got here we got something crazy looking yeah doesn't really matter what we'll do is we'll play with the distortion and then you see we get a radial pattern now it's linear and it will become radial and you see we got some nice nice uh, some nice islands and a noise here so we can play a little bit with the settings to to get our desired look but i think this is a is a good look and we also got some some roughness and some reflection to play a little bit with the light as well uh, jump into this mode uh, we have a purple purple environment and uh, not really uh, what we'll do next is that we want to add some color here i think this is also a nice look but we want to add some color and how do we add a color um i prefer to use adobe color to get like what's what's this called uh, there's a number of colors here i am not sure what it's called but i usually go to most popular and i find something that i like and what do we like today? We like this one. So we can press copy on the first color here. And what we'll do in Blender is that we go into the color ramp, plug it into the color and we go to hex and then we just control V and we get the color right in. And we'll add another one, go back, copy, and let's go. And another one, copy bam bam and we copy that one and we copy this pink one bear with me for a second while we are doing this and the last one we do purple we just follow what is there in adobe color and oh, looks pretty nice but what can we do to make it pop we do constant and then you have to drag this out because it won't show and you can tune this however you want but i think that this is a nice look what we'll do is that we'll add go to the world and what we'll do is we'll add this is the standard uh, inside of Blender Forest EXER. It's the same as when you press scene lights and scene worlds or when you disable them. I think we can maybe dial it a little bit back and we go back to object and I think that we need to make it less 
reflective. So we, yeah. Let's see what we like. Something like this looks okay. We'll add a camera, 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 camera. Where is it? I don't know. We don't need to really care about that. We can go to align view, align active camera to view. And what else do we want to do? I, I usually um, press the camera and go to depth of field. But do I want to do that today? Mm, I don't think so. I think it's good for this kind of art to be crystal sharp anywhere in the picture. So we will not do that today. Anything else? No. Cycles, GPU, maybe bump this up to 400. Uh, color management, high contrast. Get a little bit more pop and performance. I said to 256. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because this will go super fast. Uh, we don't need to save it. We need to render it. And let's see what we got. Yes. Okay, you get the idea of that one. What we can do now is that we can tweak and do however we want for example we can play with the roughness and we can play with the detail and we will get another result with the same colors and this this type of thing we can do all the way so this is just to show you for example this look where you got some really thick lines and some uh, a little bit <laughs> less thick and you see this crazy crazy mess here so let's you can also do an animation to actually go from this view and slowly reveal all of the detail in this picture kind of cool kind of cool Whoop. so that's basically it guys i hope you learn something new or or can take some inspiration from this to create some abstract kind of uh, kind of uh, artwork um, but the, the the real star of this uh, this is the color ramp and to use the colors from adobe color these are people that have created these kind of uh, sets of color which is nice and pleasant to look at and if you use some time and, and actually browse these and find some something that you feel something about and is perfect and it's even better. Okay. I don't need to say anything else about color. Um, you can find it yourself. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.